Hey, you guys, it's time for Ask Michelle B. Philomena has a question for us. She has an accounting business, and it's kind of a loaded question, so I need to break it down. So, Philomena, I have to break this down into a couple of videos because your questions are really good, and I need to make sure that you understand the next steps that you need to take. But I just want to tell you that your name is wonderful and it reminds me of my favorite aunt. Her middle name was Philomena. So I'm glad you wrote to me and let's get started with your question. So Philomena says, I started an accounting services company and I listened to your videos on YouTube, but I'm still a little bit confused on something. I have a DUNS number, so number one, where can I apply for the rest of the certifications? Number two, can this accounting business be successful as a small business? What can I do to stand out? Number three, do I need insurance for the company first before applying for these certifications? Number four, what's my NACE codes? And what are my numbers, even though I learned that I can use multiple codes, but what if the nature of the business is not on the list? For example, bookkeeping. And lastly, I guess my biggest question is, what's next? Well, like I said, this is a loaded question, so I have to break it down, and I need to see if I can do it very succinctly, Philomena, so that we don't go on and on. But these are some really, really great questions. And she says, finally, please help me. Of course. So Philomena, I'm going to answer these questions first, even though you have them in different order. Can this accounting business be successful as a small business? What can I do to stand out? And then also, do I need insurance for the company first before applying for all of these certifications? So the first thing you need to do is go to NAICS.com. I'm going to show you a sample of how to do that with the video that's linked in the comment section. That's your first step. You need to get the right codes. Then you need to go to usaspending.gov. I'm going to link those videos. That's another step because you need to see if these NACE codes and PSC codes that you're planning to use, you need to see if the awards for previous contracts under accounting are connected to those codes. Part of the struggle with government contracting, which has nothing to do with you or anyone else, is that sometimes the contracting officers use non-traditional codes. Some of it is for reasons that we don't know, but some of it is because they don't know what codes to use. I do know that you can be successful as an accounting business because I've helped many clients do accounting and government contracting. Do you have a lot of opportunities in accounting services? That depends on the type of accounting services you're going to do. This is why you have to do some of your homework. Then once you do your NACE codes, your PSC codes to make sure that you have all of the right codes, then you're going to go to usaspending.gov to do your research and make sure you see contracts under those codes. After that, then you're going, to, you're going to go on to the next step. But before I go on to the next step of getting you registered in SAM and getting your certifications, I need to tell you, no, you don't have to have insurance right up front, but if I were you, I would get the insurance. The government may not ask you for it until you win a contract, but you need to get it. As a business development consultant, I suggest that you get it because it's the smart thing to do. If you have it already, keep it, but you don't need to have the insurance to register.